Hello traders, FX Prep Collector here. Today is Monday, April 17th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. But first, take a look at my new Forex trading course available to all gold Patreon members. The link for that can be found up here in the corner. So on gold monthly, I still think that we're going up for a wave five. This looks like an ABC right here, most likely a wave four. I do think it is going to go up and take out these highs, making an all-time new high, to probably at least to the 61.8 or maybe even the 78.6 up above to finish off this big wave five. We got a nice one, two, three, four, and five forming. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, let's squish this down a little bit so we can see this a little better. Because I think this first move up right here is a wave one. I think this is a wave two. And I think we're in a wave three. A wave three needs to be bigger than a wave one. So it needs to go beyond the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave one projected out the bottom of wave two. So if that's true, that means that this needs to go up to one of these much higher Fibonacci levels. Maybe all the way up to like the $22, 23 $300 area to finish off this big uptrend for the wave 5. So let's keep going down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame is where you can see this nice trend for the wave 1. This is definitely a three-way pattern down for the wave 2. And so far, this is continuing to make higher lows the whole way up. It has not broken any lows yet. Even this big strong move down that we have here, it has not broken any lows telling me that the trend is definitely still up. And I still think that it's more likely to continue up, making the higher highs and higher lows. Now, this line right here does represent all all-time highs on gold so I'm sure we are gonna see some volatility in that area so let's head down to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame I do see the possibility because this right here is definitely a trend and I definitely can make this out to be three waves up I think there's a good chance this is an irregular top or an irregular wave B and that we've already made a downtrend for the wave C and we may already have a break of starts here. This wave C very easily could already be over and may already be heading back up. So let's head down to the one hour time frame. Now we definitely need to pay attention to this move up because this possibly could be a wave A and it could be a B. And then it could do something like this and head back down to make a C, which if it does do that, that's definitely a completely normal looking pattern. But like I said, this is definitely a trend and I could definitely make this out as three waves up. And then we have a one, two, three, four, five down. We have a break of structure. This could be the end of a wave C. If it is the end of a wave C, this very easily could just keep on trending up. So definitely watch your Fibonacci levels to see if it makes three waves up or if it just keeps on trending up, making higher, higher higher lows either way whether it's a way b or whether it's going up for an uptrend on these sort of time frames i'm definitely going to continue to look for longs at the end of every single abc pullback while i learn whether this is a way b or whether we're already continuing the uptrend so don't forget to join my free discord channel the link for that is on the screen and in the description thanks and happy trading